All right, this is a little demo video uh, for Michael trading out truck for plasma cutter running and the electric generator. I've actually got it hooked up to my car outside. Um, make a little quick, quick little instructo. Um, heard that you guys had some quarter inch stainless, and I don't know where I found it, but I found some quarter inch stainless. Um, let me show you guys that it, it does cut. Given the right ground. Aha. Alright. Alright. Cut the edge right off. I know it's hard to see. Let me get my flashlight out. It's kind of limited space. Cut the stainless right off. I kind of, not really a jagged cut, but take my time out. And then this is 8 inch plate. This is mostly what you'll probably be cutting and stuff like that. It cuts this stuff just fine. Go to the ground again. Ah. Pretty, pretty thick stainless here. Um, it's a quarter inch. I took out the tape measure and checked it, so it'd be something you guys could use it for. Um, that part of it's good to go. Here's your, here's your amperage adjustment. Just pull up, squeeze down, but uh, off. Let's get this noise out of here. Turn the air off. All right, and then hook the air back up. Do a little. All right, air hook back up. My leaky coupling. All right. Now, turn it on. Run. Good to go. And it'll, like I said, it'll cut every time. Um, great unit. It's just, it's just big and bulky, and I've already, at, I've actually already got it. A unit that I really like. Cut with both hands and take your time. It'll turn out pretty good. And it'll do that all day long. This is my my new unit over here. That's the only reason I'm I'm getting rid of this big big thing that works fine. It just takes up a lot of my limited space. All right. Now, like I said, let me turn all this off. All right. Off. Okay. Now here's the electric generator. I've got it hooked up to 12 volts. That just out to the car. Um, and it comes in on your negative and positive just like you'd, you'd expect and if you want to run it parallel with more batteries You can do it there. Um, it doesn't have to be hooked up now. This is rated this grinder is huge as you can tell um, And it's rated at 13 amps, so it pulls right at what this thing can supposedly handle um, And then this is a 10 amp sawzall now as soon as you touch this trigger I mean as soon as you touch this thing will sense it It'll turn on not even the sawzall's not even moving and then works great now if i let off and i wait a second it senses no load it's turning itself off now the same with the grinder now this is a large unit i mean it's got a large large motor on it but if you gently touch it and it'll run it um, like I said, it'll actually run both. Let's see if I can do, do both at the same time. Let's see. Okay. It'll actually run both. And like I said, I don't really have a need for it. Uh, we used to use it all the time, but if you, if you had a lot of property and you wanted to you know, do all kinds of fun stuff, just right off your truck, you don't have to crank anything, you don't have to have gas, anything like that. And uh, like I said, it's made by ReadyLine. It's a top of the line unit. It's actually um, got a GFCI on it, so it will uh, it will trip if, if it detects any kind of ground fault. So you're not going to get you're not going to get hurt there. And like I said, 
it's quiet right now, it's off. It turns itself off. Now let's say it's just sitting in your truck. Plug it in. All right. Gently touch the trigger, which you don't even have to gently. You can just go right at it. Um, and, and it knows. Like I said, it'll sit here and run. Turn itself right back off. Um, so it's kind of power on demand type thing and uh, works great. It'll work with all kinds of stuff. Thanks.